Hi, here's your Bible lesson for October 28th. Virgin uses Revelation 3-7. He opened it and no one shut it. Jesus is the keeper of the gate of paradise. And before every believing soul, he set up an open door, which no man or devil shall be able to close against it. What joy it will be to find that faith in him is the golden key to the everlasting doors. My soul, dost thou carry this key in thy bosom, or art thou trusting with some deceitful picklock, which will fail thee at last? Hear this parable of the creature and remember it. The great king has made a banquet, and he has proclaimed to all the world that none shall enter but those who bring with them the fairest flower that blooms. The spirits of men advance the gate by thousands, and they bring each one the flower which he esteems the queen of the garden. But in crowds they are driven from the royal presence, and enter not into the festive halls. Some bear their hands the deadly nightshade of superstition, or the flaunting poppies of Rome, or the hemlock of self-righteousness. But these are not dear to the king. The bearers are shut out of the pearly gate. My soul, hast thou gathered the rose of Sharon? Dost thou wear the lily of the valley in thy bosom constantly? If so, when thou comest up to the gate of heaven, thou wilt know its value. For thou hast only to show the choicest of flowers, and the porter will open. Not for a moment will he deny the admission, for to that rose the porter openeth ever. Thou shalt find thy way with the rose of Sharon in thy hand, up to the throne of God himself. For heaven itself possesses nothing that excels its radiant beauty, and of all the flowers that bloom in paradise, there is none that can rival the lily of the valley. My soul, put Calvary's blood-red rose into thy hand by faith. By love wear it, by communion preserve it. By daily watchfulness make it thine all in all. And thou shalt be blessed beyond all bliss, happy beyond a dream. Jesus, be mine forever, my God, my heaven, my all. Okay, so in this devotional, Spurgeon is talking about the fact that there's only one way into heaven, and that is through Jesus Christ. And he invents a parable, Spurgeon invents a parable, involving flowers. And he references several flowers. He references the deadly night shade of superstition, the flaunting poppies of Rome, or the hemlock of self-righteousness. It's all being things that people try to use to get into the king's banquet according to his parable and then of course the only one that allows a person in is the rose of sharon which is a direct reference to scripture which is referring to christ christ is the rose of sharon so for today's question i want you to take a moment and think about those three types of flowers that he mentioned that were false flowers that would send the bearer of them away into internal condemnation. And just to remind you, those would be the deadly nightshade of superstition, or the flaunting of the poppies of Rome, or the hemlock of self righteousness. And I want you to take a moment and think about each of those three flowers and explain why people might rely upon superstition to get into heaven. You can give an example why people might rely upon the poppies of Rome, and by that he's referring to uh, Roman Catholicism. Um, there's a lot of empty ritualism in Roman Catholicism. They believe a lot of things that aren't true. And then the last one is the hemlock of self-righteousness, which just to remind you, self-righteousness is relying upon your own righteousness as being good enough. So I want you to take a moment and think about those three flowers and then explain what he means by those flowers and why they're so dangerous. Okay, thank you.